In this video, we're going to talk about the unit analysis of Newton's second law of motion. Now, Newton's second law says that if you add up all the forces acting on an object, it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Now, one of the things that you should keep in mind is that it's only a net force that causes an object to accelerate. That is, when you have more than one force acting on an object, if those forces do not balance, then the object's going to accelerate in the direction of the net external force. Now, in the course of solving Newton's second law, you'll find that if you add up all the forces acting on an object, and you divide it by the mass of the object, you'll find the acceleration of the object. That is, you're going to divide a unit of a force, which is a newton, by a unit of mass, which is a kilogram. And in the course of doing that, you're going to find a unit of acceleration, in this case, a meter per second squared. In a similar way, you can also divide a unit of a force, again, a newton, divided by a unit of acceleration, which is a meter per second squared, and find a unit of mass, which is expressed in units of kilograms. So in this video, what I'd like to do is talk about why when you divide a newton of force, in this case a newton, by a unit of a meter per second squared, that you get a unit of mass, which is in this case a kilogram. Now to do that, we need to go back to the definition of a newton, which says that one newton was the force required to cause an object with a mass of one kilogram to accelerate at a rate of one meter per second per second. That is, we said that the unit of a newton was a derived unit. It was derived from the base units of a kilogram and a meter per second squared. The newton was the force required to get this one kilogram object to accelerate at this rate. Now, when we divide a unit of force by a unit of mass, we get a unit of acceleration. So to show that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by one kilogram. What you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other. So now I have a unit of force, which is a newton, divided by a unit of mass. And when I cancel out this unit of kilogram with this unit of kilogram, I'm going to get a unit of a meter per second squared, which is a unit of acceleration. So to summarize what I just found, when I divide a unit of a newton by a unit of mass, I get a unit of acceleration, which is a unit of a meter per second per second, or a unit of a meter per second squared. When you divide a unit of force by a unit of mass, you get a unit of acceleration. Now in a similar way, when we start off with our definition of a newton again, newton being the force required to cause an object with a mass of one kilogram to accelerate at a rate of one meter per second per second. When you divide both sides of this equation by a unit of a meter per second squared, so you're going to divide both sides of this equation by acceleration, what you should see is that this unit of meter per second squared cancels out with this unit of meters per second squared. And when you divide a unit of a force by a unit of acceleration, in this case a meter per second squared, you get a unit of mass. So a force divided by acceleration gives you a unit of mass. And this all comes from the definition of what a newton of force is. The force required to cause an object with a mass of one kilogram to accelerate at a rate of one meter per second per second. 